I love the music they put on. I was like, am I in the I Love Lucy show? That was really cool. Now, where do I look? Oh, my. Ah! I love you, too. I love you, too. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you, thank you, Yarel, and thank you, Lulac, for inviting me to be here tonight. Um, it's great to see all of you here. Congratulations to all the award winners and to all of you for being here tonight. You being here means that you care about your future and about the future of the Latino community. As long as you stay on this path, you're on the path to success. I also think that it's great that LULAC picked unity as a theme for this year's convention. If we have learned anything in recent days, it is that we as a nation need to think about how to be united instead of divided. I mean, we are the United States. Um, we need to end the division and the violence and end the hate. For too long, Latinos have been subjected to some of the most hateful political rhetoric, that ugly tone, particularly by one of the candidates who I will not mention, but I just know that his name is not Hillary Clinton and not Bernie Sanders. <laughs> has become, now, has become the new norm on social media and mainstream media and in our everyday lives. Imagine what our brothers and sisters in the Black Lives Matter movement and their mothers and their fathers and grandparents and ancestors experience for generations. The political t attacks that we are experiencing this year are increasing the community tensions, hate and violence that we are city seeing in the city streets. As President Obama said, we are better than that. We have to unite and end the hatred and the violence and we need to fight for equality and justice for all. That, re that reminds me of a song, right? Remember, our voices need to be heard. I'll tell you a little bit about myself and, and, and why I got involved. I am the daughter of Colombian parents, Colombia, who came to this country for a better life. After many years of struggling with the immigration system and unscrupulous lawyers, y'all know them, y'all know them notarios, get away from them, go somewhere else. Um, my parents were deported and I stayed behind to follow my dreams and to support my family. I went through many years of not understanding the severity and the damage that my family separation meant for me. Uh, and after many years of battling depression and finding my place in this world, the last resort was to simply believe in myself and to try this really crazy thing, acting. Um, thank you, boo. Um, and so I set out to find a job, and I did on the set of Orange is the New Black. seen it? I won't do that here, but I just did. <laughs> anyway, with this amazing platform, I quickly realized that I had a purpose and that my voice, I had to, sorry, that I had a purpose and that I had to use my story and my voice to try to bring about change and justice to our community. This election year is so critical. We have to stop those who want to stop our progress from getting elected. We need a president that promotes unity. There's that unity word again. But I say it so many times because it's important. We need a president who knows how to govern on behalf of all Americans, not just the few who promote and want to deport us because of the color of our skin. I would go like this, but like I chose a dress where I can't even like move my arms, which is really great. You guys are probably thinking I have no movement, but I can move. <laughs> we, we need a Senate. We need to elect a Senate that will fill the vacancy on the Supreme Court so that we can have protections of our rights from immigration to voting rights to women's rights to LGBTQ rights to the right to live in safe communities without the fears of gun violence. 
As you know, the Supreme Court split 4-4 on President Obama's immigration relief programs that would have created DAPA and expanded DACA. The court's non-decision leaves, leaves us in a place, a court ruling blocking the president's programs. Today, millions of American families are living in fear that their families will be separated by deportation. It's a fear that I know and that I want to help end. As I said before, we need for the Senate to fill the court vacancy so that we can have the justice that we deserve and that we want. And if the Senate doesn't act by November, we need to elect senators who value our community, not those who set out to destroy our communities and our families. You guys are a nice crowd. Now it's time for the youths to get involved. I'm still a youth? No. 30 this year, you guys. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I want you guys to get involved. I have a couple favors to ask of you. All of you use social media? I know you do. OK. Tell me later. <laughs> All right, so next Tuesday, July 19th, I want you to remember to go on social media and to post a message to, to our senators from your state. What, who wrote this? Can you go back? Go back. Oh, you guys thought this was all from my head? <laughs> Right? I keep it, I keep it 100, boo-boo. I keep it 100. No, but for real, I hope you guys caught what I'm saying. I want you to remember to go on social media and post a message to your senators from your state. That doesn't make any sense still to me. Anyway, your state, your state or your senator majority, your Senate majority leader, at Senate M-A-J-L-D-R. I'm sure y'all all follow him. <laughs> but maybe start and start complaining. Right? Tell them to stop playing politics with our lives. We need justice. Hashtag we need nine. Hashtag do your job. Right? I'm sassy today. So why Tuesday? Because that's a historic day. And it's not in a good way, unfortunately. Tuesday will mark the 125th day since President Obama nominated Merrick Garland to fill the Supreme Court vacancy. 125 days is the longest any nominee has had to wait for a vote in the Senate. Until now, the Latino and immigrant communities have largely been, largely been silent on the court vacancy issue. But the politics is affecting our lives and our families. Let them see our, Latinos na our Latino names on those tweets. Let's take a stand today and next week and in November when we vote. Okay, that was cool. I got through it. It was hard, it was hard, but I got through it. All right, now I wanna ask a favor. Everyone who's 18 or older and will be eligible to vote in November, please stand. No, please stand, don't raise your hand, please stand. Please, just, I know it's hard, standing. Oh my God, standing. So hard, so hard. All right. <laughs> I love you too. I do. All right. So now that I've like made you all uncomfortable, everyone who is already registered to vote, sit down. Who's registered to vote already, I said. Not everybody. All right. Everyone who's left standing, I know where we, everyone who's, who else is left standing, register now. You see what I did right there? No? No one got that? That's cool. <laughs> anyway, it's easy. And here's how. Pick up your phone. There's like this, I've heard about this new app that Lulac and Verizon developed called Oportunidad. Have you guys heard about it? You guys know about the Oportunidad app? No? You're not talking to me no more? Okay, still? Thank God. All right. Download the Oportunidad app and learn how to use it. 
Even if you're not eligible to vote, you can become ambassadors for voter registration and turnout and show people how to use the app. Show them how to register to vote. Show them how easy it is, because it is very easy. Also, between now and November, do everything that you can. Volunteer, help with voter registrations. Tweet, knock on doors, post on social media, you know, talk about the importance of voting. I mean, it's really important for us to get involved. You know, I read this beautiful, uh, stop, stop, I know. I'm going off now. I read this beautiful quote and it said, I, I think it was Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I hope it is, um, because the Colombian community will come after me if it's not right, but it is, and it's not, of course, the complete uh, quote, but it's, it, said, it said something that really resonated with me and it says that we are political beings. We are political beings, like it or not. Right? We are on the, we're in this earth, we're in this society, we're in this community, we are together. So that means we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to participate. For us, for our future, for our families, for the next people that come after we're all gone. Huge responsibility. We need to set precedence. We need to do it now, and I'm so glad that you're here because this shows that the message is getting across. I mean, we're all scared, right? The future of our country is in the hands of all of us, not just the few. Talk to your parents and their friends. Tell them that they have to vote for you, for us. You are here because you're leaders. Again, congratulations to all of you for getting involved. It's so dope. I'm so proud of you. I keep on spreading the message. I want you to keep on spreading the message. It's also really cool, by the way, to be activists, right? I think that's kind of like one of the things. I was having serious FOMO because I was like, you know, I was doing some stuff. I had all these ideas and all these emotions about stuff that I cared about, um, about the world, about the environment, about human rights, about black lives, about brown lives, about all of us. And I didn't know how to express that, and I didn't know how to really form an opinion that, that would make me feel, quote unquote, smart. Um, but then I was like, I have to do it. My time is now. I need to use my voice. I need to activate now, or else when am I going to do it? And I'm totally going to miss my chance to protest. Like, how cool is that? I mean, it, I mean, I wish we didn't have to do it because I wish we had no injustices in the world, but the reality is that we do and we need to fight for what we believe in. Um, so it's really cool and, you, you know, for those who think that <laughs> this could be a dope path for, for jobs, you know, you can do so much for others. You know, what, what, what good is it to be in this world by yourself? Like, oh, hey, we're having a party by myself. It's good to like be with others who believe in the same thing and fighting for justice and human rights and love. So I want to live. I want to go to that party, right? So now let's get to work. Let's lead and let's win in November on behalf of our community. You guys, we have to do it. We have to do it. The time is now. I love you. I'll take a picture. I'll, I'll take a picture.